Right now, first responders are on the scene of a train derailment in Van Buren Township. And now several major roads are closed while officials investigate the situation out there tonight. Thanks for joining us on CBS News Detroit at 6 o'clock. We are streaming on the CBS News app as well on Pluto TV. I'm Jeff Skaversky. I'm Shana Humphreys. State and local officials have been looking into the cause of this derailment and whether there's any danger to the Van Buren community. We're taking you now to the site of the derailment just off Huron River Drive between Martinsville and Haggerty Road. That's where we find our Kelly Vaughn. She joins us live this evening with the very latest on this train derailment. Kelly. Well, right now, the big focus is clearing the train, repairing the tracks, and investigating what led to the derailment. Now, the big closure right now is here on East Huron River Drive, right by Haggerty Road. Other roads have opened back up, but the big message environmental officials and the police want you to know is that there's no danger to the public. Now, officials have told us that one of the cars on this train was carrying liquid chlorine, um, which is considered a hazardous material, but they assure us that that car was not involved in the derailment. Now, we've got this drone video and it shows a close up of exactly what happened. You can see two of those train cars had completely twisted so they're horizontal on the tracks. The Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy says there were no leaks, no spills, so there's no concerns for the water or the soil or the air for that matter in this area. Now the derailment has impacted drivers. 17 year old Evan Miracle says it blocked his way from home from school today. We had to completely turn around there was a big line of traffic that was turning, and as we came back, we had to go a whole different way home. Now, this was a Norfolk Southern train. This is the same train company that was involved in that derailment in Ohio less than two weeks ago. Spoke to a company spokesperson today, and they tell me they've got crews here on site. They're also working with specialized contractors to clear up the derailment. Um, local police tell me they don't think it'll be too long before this is cleared out and the road is back open. For now, reporting live from Van Buren Township, Kelly Vaughn for CBS News Detroit.